Good morning, guys. It has been a super fun week. Welcome to Trade Confident. My name is Travis Martin. We're going to go over 88 today, guys. Uh, if you are not following this channel, I suggest you guys subscribe, turn the bell notification on. We are live trading on every single one of these videos. We're currently at $10,925. I did end up exiting the 88 trade yesterday. Question you guys might have is, uh, Travis, I didn't see a video on that. The reason for that is because, guys, everybody who now has a subscription over at TradeConfident.io with your $49 a month membership, you guys get access to the Telegram channel for free, okay? We actually ended up winning our 40th for 40th trade yesterday. We went 40 for 41 on uh, BTC. We ended up exiting Matic for 42 out of 42. And then we ended up exiting ADA yesterday, guys. 50%, we had a stop loss move to break even. I'll show you my actual exchange. I did it. I'm doing exactly what I'm telling you guys I'm doing here. I did it as well. I got triggered out of the market. That made four. 40, excuse me, yes, 43 for 43 wins on this channel. We have not lost a trade yet. I know they weren't big wins, but I was pr looking yesterday, and I'll go over this again, guys. You need to get the trend exhaustion indicator and the price for swell money flow. By the way, they're going up in six days. So this indicator, the trend exhaustion, is going up in six days. Monday when I do videos again, you'll have three days left. So just get on your charts today. We'll be going over that. Super exciting day for, for an update for ADA. All right, well, we'll be going over the emotional index today for ADA, the long versus short trades, long versus short trade risk, well and institutional smart money, support resistance prices, dollar cost average entries, and exit points. All right, guys, if this wasn't a perfect call for the indicators, I don't know what is. So let me just point this out to you on the chart here. You guys know that I've mentioned when we hit the top sections up here on the trend exhaustion, this is where I'm looking for for exits, as well as if we see the price versus well money flow, well money flow is in green here, guys. It's the flow of larger transactions on the blockchain for the currency and the exchange. In this case, it's ADA on Coinbase. When we see this, this is historically going to prove to you guys that we are going to move back down. Yesterday, I ended up calling an exit for us at $2.32, and then I said put a stop loss or what's called a sell stop at break even. Let me show and prove to you guys that I actually did this myself because everything I'm calling, I'm doing as well because I like making money. Um, here's all of our filled positions. You guys will see the sell on ADA. I ended up taking the sell with you guys at 50%. And then I ended up putting the break-even entry back at the original price over here that you guys can see at 226. All right. Everything got triggered yesterday. We're good to go. We're out of the trade. We made money. Awesome. So what I want to point out to you guys today is where are we going to head in the future for ADA and what should you be doing right now? Here's what you guys need to be doing. First things first, you guys need to get set up for the next trade. Obviously, even this is what I'm doing this morning, guys. Like after I'm done with these videos, I need to go in and set up my new buy limits because I do them with you guys every morning. So you guys are like, awesome. This this guy, if you don't know me, um, you're like, this guy's 43 for 43 winning trades. Yeah, we haven't lost a trade yet. We are still managing some over here though. Here's what you guys need to do. Go to tradeconfident.io. There's links in the description. I'm going to make this fast so it's not a sales video. $49 a month. This is what it gives you. You guys need to go over to live trades, scroll down, and click right here. Okay? This is going to show you guys all of the buy limits for Cardano right now. This is some incredible times to be getting into the market, guys. Like if my dad's watching this and my family's watching this, guys, you need to be getting in your buy limits, okay? This is incredible. When we see discounts like this, you need to be setting up your four buy limits. Here is how this works. On all of our coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, ADA, all the charts look exactly like this, obviously a little bit different. Price action is in white, and then you have four yellow lines. Here's what you guys need to do. Right now, set up your four buy limits. If you have $1,000, you're going to put 25% at each level, 250, 250, 250, 250. Once your first buy limit is hit, set your sell limit at the first yellow line above your first buy limit and leave it. Guys, do not update your buy limits as I'm updating them. Once your first buy limit is hit, let the rest of your buy limits get hit, okay? It's a question I get a lot, so I just wanted to answer it on here. Don't be chasing this around that I'm when I'm updating them. Leave them in your exchange. It will throw off the dollar cost averaging if you don't just leave it. So right now, set up four buy limits for all the coins you guys wanna trade over here at tradeconfident.io and then go over to the bottom section here once you have your subscription click telegram and it will automatically give you guys a link where you can join me over here and this is where i'm calling out trade exits as well as some good calls for the week okay everybody who was in that telegram channel you guys won three trades yesterday we won the ada we won the dot trade we won the matic trade because i was calling exits that's it guys like if you get if you want to stop the video right now get the indicators get the membership get your next buy limit set up follow me on monday because i'm taking the weekend off that's what you guys can do so as i mentioned the trend exhaustion is going up in six days i don't want to again let's just go over this i don't i'm sorry i'm like i don't mean to like turn these into sales videos but it's like guys these things are calling the tops and bottoms so ridiculously well and i don't want people to come back and be like oh you didn't tell us about you know the price going up so i just i want to make that clear what am i watching for 
with ADA. We did push down into the bottom red section here of the trend exhaustion, okay? When that happened here, we did end up seeing a little bit of rebound back in the market. I do believe that we could still keep seeing ADA move down here a little bit further, because of the well money flow here. We still have a lot of room to go down till we hit the bottom side. Now we see a lot of the retail traders with the trend, ex uh, excuse me, trend dashboard up here. This is showing me that a lot of them are selling or trying to short into the market because their standard indicators that they're using is the RSI stochastic and MACD. And they have been conditioned, not in a bad way, to trade with the trend and use moving averages to tell them which direction to trade in because they want to follow momentum. I taught it myself three to four years ago. And then I was like, okay, that's awesome. We want a bunch of trades doing that. But I have found that if you guys watch the, I should call this retail trader indicators. Like if you're watching what retail traders are looking at, you can tell what we're doing because we're usually doing the opposite. So while a lot of people are selling out of the market right now because they don't know how low it will go, that's the thought of a lot of people, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna accumulate some long trades, okay? That's exactly what we're gonna be doing. So let's go over to the metrics and take a look at this for ADA, all right? The emotional index and all these indicators and metrics, they are all gonna update at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is in literally about an hour and 10 minutes, okay? This has been pushing us down into the anxious section. I do believe we will see this probably push down. Maybe we, we might hit fearful. I don't know if we'll hit fearful today, but we'll probably, we'll definitely see a little bit more of a move down here, guys. This is probably what we're going to see. Something like this, or, or probably around in this area. Does this look like a time to be selling, guys? Like, I, I hope this, I'm not trying to be rude or cocky on this, this video, but like, this is the time to be buying. I know people are coming out and they're saying, oh, Bitcoin, you know, is going to drop to this 36,000. It's going to, it's going to go down. It's going to go down. But guys, I'll tell you, there's equal portions of people saying that Bitcoin's going to go to 85,000, 100,000, and 150,000 before the end of the year is over. So what is the smartest thing to do so you're prepared for both sides? Okay, listen carefully, guys. What if it goes down? What if it goes up? The best way to take advantage of this is to get into our entries and dollar cost average in with us with our four buy limits. So if it goes down, you guys are still safe. And as it goes down, your break-even entry will go lower as well. Okay, this is sound trading. I really do believe we, we have wisdom on how we've been trading here. And, and the the fruit is in the in the profits. Okay, guys, we're 43 for 43 wins. And, and I believe the reason why is because we're using such good risk management and our indicators are doing such a good job of keeping us safe. Guys, everybody would have been in the negative for all those trades yesterday unless we had the trend exhaustion because I saw this pushing up in the top section. I literally called out here in the description. I said, we need to be watching the trend exhaustion right here. The trend exhaustion and price versus well money flow are topped out. And um, I want to guarantee us a win in here. I'm explaining to you guys why I'm exiting these trades, and it was because of that indicator. And that trend exhaustion is what's going up in six days. Watch this on the metrics here as we go down here. We're looking at the long and short trades for ADA at the moment, okay? This is pushing down, and I want to see today, I want you guys to watch this over the weekend. As this moves down here, and if we keep seeing a move down, will long trades increase? I, I, I do believe we're going to see some type of move like this uh, as the price goes down, because I think more people are like, oh yeah, when the price is low, we need to be acquiring more. Short trades are moving out here a little bit. Guys, watch this. As you have price action, price action, okay, in white heading down with long trades entering into the market, this is a bullish sign. I proved it to you guys over here that when price action is moving up and long trades are actually moving out of the market, this is a sign that we're probably going to drop. And that's exactly what happened over here. So I have been bullish on ADA and I'm going to continue to stay bullish. Guys, I was very bearish when we we're over here and I had people be like, Travis, all you do is call drops. Yes, because I was expecting this drop in the market. But I'm telling you guys, based off on chain metrics, this is clear to me that long trades are increasing while the price action is going down. This is a bullish sign for ADA to look to try to head back up again. And basically what you're seeing right now is Black Friday discount sales on your favorite TV and you need to snag it before prices go back up, okay? Yesterday we pushed up into the neutral section. Most likely today we're probably going to be pushing down closer to the good long trade and that is why you guys need to get your buy limit set up. Like I said, guys, I'm going to do exactly what I'm telling you guys. And after I'm done with these videos, I'm going to be setting up my buy limits based off the new entries over here for the buy limits for ADA. Okay. Real quick, guys, <clears throat> I'm going to do this really fast because I want to do this in the beginning before we get to the well and institutional smart money. I did at the end of the video last time and I want to do it in the beginning, guys. Quick shout out for profits on Friday. It's Profit Friday, guys. Um, this gentleman, he made $1,100 on Solana using our indicators and metrics. Great job. He did amazing. Uh, made $5,000 over here in last week trading with our metrics indicators. Um, another $1,100 made here. <clears throat> Just 
it is crazy how well you guys are doing. So I just like to shout out to some of you guys. Seven thousand seven hundred forty-seven dollars here. Seven thousand dollars. Like, I know when I used to work at Costco, guys. I the highest paycheck I ever pulled in was one thousand nine hundred ninety. It was like when I was born, nineteen ninety. Okay. And these guys are doing crazy profits over here. Another individual did 1246 and you guys have seen 1800 on Doge and $500 in 12 hours. These guys are using our indicators and metrics over here. So that's why I highly recommend you guys come over and just snag them before those prices go up. Okay, little intermission. Let's take a look at the well and institutional smart money. Okay, what we ended up seeing yesterday was very interesting. We ended up seeing one of the fastest dropouts from long trades to short trades that we've seen in a long time. So this metric bar up here was saying, hey, we are doing an incredible accumulation of long trades because we were dipping down. That was because of this dip and they made a lot of money. Yesterday, this dropped all the way from here and dropped all the way back down. When you guys see fast drops in the market like this, this means long trades are out of favor for wells, institutions, and smart money. This does actually help us predict moves back down in the market. Let me prove this to you guys again. As you see this over here, and this actually showed a lot of long trades acquired by the wells and institutions, we saw the move up. But we immediately saw the long trades move out of the market because they were preparing for a drop. Why? Because they don't take money out of the market for long trades if they're expecting the price to keep going up. So that's how you guys can read this. As you see fast declines, in long trades, <clears throat> excuse me guys, as you see fast declines in long trades, this is a sign that you can possibly see drops back down in the market. Now, as this drops back down here, what I believe you guys are gonna see today is clearly you're gonna see, I believe this is gonna happen, you guys are actually gonna see metric bars forming to the upside. Why? Because this on discount, you guys need to be coming in and buying this thing because I do think it's gonna start moving back up if it doesn't move up over the weekend. All right, take a look at this, support resistance prices. Where is ADA? going to go if we keep heading up here. The first structure I was definitely looking at here is about $2.25, $2.30. Okay, let's look at 230 right now because that's the basic point that I want to show you guys. We're down here and where's 230? It sits right up here, right around the structure high that we've seen of basically right around where we ended up taking that exit, pretty close to around there, okay? We ended up exiting at 232. Sorry guys, let me get some water real quick. So that is where I'm looking at for us to take a quote unquote uh, pit stop before we keep heading up a little bit higher. Now, if we actually see bull momentum into the market, I am watching this descending resistance very strongly over the weekend here. I do think we could push up right around this area, which would put us right around about $2.40, and we could see another move back down. Okay, so that's that's the the bullish scenario for this weekend is right around 240 and seeing a move down. Yes, it is absolutely possible, guys, that we could start moving down to structure lows again down here at about a dollar ninety one. <clears throat> Excuse me, dollar ninety one puts us right around here. I either got to drink more water or talk slower. I think I'm going to do both. <laughs> so we could see this head out a little bit further to push us down here over the weekend. Although I will say this, guys, I do think that is going to be quite a stretch for us because if you take a look at the trend exhaustion down here, we are already down to the bottom red section here, and I would expect to see it bounces back up. We are already seeing it happen in the market. It is playing out in front of your eyes right now of how accurate these indicators are. So let me wrap up this here, and then I'll, I just want to finish the video. Dollar cost average entries, if you guys enter down here, you're doing great. Great. If you have basically, this is for those guys who want to just throw like a thousand dollars into the market whenever you want, and you're like, I want to hold for long term, that's what these are for. Okay, great job. Um, this basically ended up calling the top up here before we ended up moving down. So, great metric to be watching once we're in long trades. I will be using this to look for exits and uh, notify you guys on the Telegram channel. So, guys indicators perfectly called this drop in the market. Make sure you guys get those set up. The bundle package is over here. I'm pretty sure I already showed this to you guys, but if I didn't, here's the bundle pack right here. This is not gonna be going up in price. Um, soon. I will eventually raise this price, but it is on sale right now. If you guys wanna get that, it's at the rock bottom prices. Trend exhaustion, trend dashboard, price for some well money flow. Get them on your charts. I will be raising the price of the trend exhaustion in six days, starting Monday when I come back. You guys will only have three days left, so make sure you get that set up today. And once you guys are signed up for the membership, make sure you guys have your buy limit set up. Follow me on the Telegram channel, and that's where I'll be making the calls. Make sure your buy limits are set up, guys. Incredible, incredible buying opportunities right now in crypto. Do not miss these opportunities. All right, guys. God bless you guys so much. Have an amazing, amazing weekend. I'll be back with you guys on Monday. All the indicators are immediate delivery, so you guys can get the source code and put them on your charts. It doesn't matter when you order over the weekend. You automatically get it. I also included the tutorial video of how to upload them on TradingView for you guys on checkout. If you have any questions about anything, email me, 
btradeconfident at gmail.com and I'll be right there to help. Congrats guys on 43 for 43 winning trades and we'll keep the keep the winning streak going here. All right guys, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.